And before we get into this episode, I just want to say thank you to our partner, Truly the Party Pack. This is a really fitting episode. They're sitting here on the table with us. If y'all are watching on YouTube, you if you're not, you need to be. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Flavors Seriously. actually look fire. We have watermelon, citrus sque- squeeze, raspberry, and pineapple. Pineapple. Pineapple is my favorite, actually. They're really good, and they're perfect for what we're going to announce today to kind of pair it with. <gasps> Wait. Wait. This could so what we're pairing it with could so be a drinking game. Just saying that. Yeah. So, anyways, we'll, we'll get into that stuff. Hi, y'all. This is House Guest, and I am your host, Kenzie Elizabeth. Think a Gen Z wannabe Martha Stewart meets Dolly Parton trying to live in a Nancy Myers movie in her 20s. We talk all about life, relationships, navigating your 20s, closing out the bars, or waking up at 5 a.m. depending on our vibe that week. Ultimately, living our best lives and figuring it out along the way. So come hang out. Sometimes I have guests on who do really cool things, some of my best friends, or it's just me and my house that I spend way too much time in. So let's get into the show. We're back, everyone. Everyone's favorite guest. You and Dom are definitely tied. Who do you think's been on more episodes now? Um, well, I need like the exact amount that Dom's been on. Um, I really don't know. I, w- I wouldn't be shocked if you like have knew. surpassed her. No, no, no. Well, <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I was gonna say I wouldn't be shocked if you had it like you had tallied it. You'd gone <laughs> back since I started this podcast five years ago, and you were just doing your own like research just to see. <sighs> But I do, I do think we need an episode with me and Dom. Is there beef between you guys now? No, but for some reason, I feel like people might not think that we're, like, friends. That's actually very true. Dom because doesn't think we're good friends. Yeah, like, I, te- like I give her updates on my men. Like, <laughs> we're good friends. Yes. What? Oh. Oh. No. Literally story of my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so Dom and, you know what? Can we do an episode with the three of us? Starting a rumor. Okay. You guys, Macy and I have been starting rumors just, like, for fun. Um, And I'm starting a rumor now that you and Dom hate each other. Okay, perfect. And And then we'll squash it. On the podcast. With all three of us. Yeah. I just think that people might think that because they've never seen the three of us, like, in a room together, you know? What if they think, it's, like, one of those things where it's, like, well, I've never actually seen Macy and Dom in the room together. We're the same person. Yes. (laughs) Yeah, let's start that rumor. That would actually make more sense to me. You know what? Okay, so I started listening to Smartless, like, this morning. I actually listened to half an episode. I low-key saw, she sent me a screenshot, and she was listening to Smartless, and I was, like, are you a listener of that? I don't know what it is. it's new, but, well, it's new to me. It's not new in general, but I will say they put their guest names in quotes, so it'll be, like, Kelly Clarkson in quotes. So, like, for this episode, I'm going to do, like, Sydney Sweeney in quotes, <laughs> but it's you. you know? Perfect. So it's like kind of the same vibe, similar well, vibe. You could actually get away with saying that I'm Megan Maroney because if you guys are watching on YouTube, I did Heatless Curls last night, and to the untrained eye, it might look like I just am in seventh grade and just learned how to use a wand for the first time, but once you look at it longer, it's like, no, that's giving Megan Maroney country star. I even have my like tart shimmer gloss on, so I really... I don't know. I'm going to the airport tonight. Maybe someone will be like, Megan. I'm like, no, it's just Macy Thompson. Notice how she just like slides tart in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> guys, guys. The tart shimmer gloss is actually so good. If you didn't know, my car was broken into about two weeks ago and they took all my lip products. And in that purse was a bunch of my Maracuja juicy lip plumps. And they did not take my shimmer ones. So I've been relying on it. If they ever want to know who to send to Bora Bora next. You know what's weird? I don't think I've seen any content from Bora Bora. Really? Besides like Hallie and Jess. Yeah. I don't think I've seen anyone posting from Bora Bora. I have only because I have only because uh, I'm very invested, but mm-hmm. like I've kind of tailored my for you page to be it. But yeah, you know what I want to do? Do you have your phone on you? Yeah. I want us to go through our uh, Instagram Explore pages. Okay. First off, I forgot Instagram Explore pages existed until about a week ago when I realized that mine is so perfectly curated for myself that I just can't stop looking. Wait, before we get that out, I just want to say, whenever we record a podcast, it's always during, like, work hours. So, like, if you're watching on YouTube, sometimes you might see me, like, disassociate checking my phone because I'm on the clock. But just want to let everyone know, my phone's on airplane mode. Oh, good. Not airplane mode. Do not disturb. I'm, like, we're in a studio, so I had to be very professional today. Yeah, she had to be professional. Like, if my boss needs to reach me. At my house, she said she doesn't care. Yeah, if my boss needs to reach me, like, sorry. (laughs) We're clocked in. Okay. We're clocked in. Sorry, Ben. Okay, so my For You page, or Explore page, is, like, Homes, antique finds, needlepoint, um, some nurseries, <laughs> wallpaper. Yeah, I mean, it's like a really, really great handcrafted thing. What, let me see yours, actually. Mine is all Taylor Swift memes, bridesmaid dresses, and The Bachelor, because that is everything, and dance videos. See, look. Are you watching The Bachelor this year? Yes, and you're not, and it makes me so annoyed. And now I get, like, you don't like when I don't read the same books as you, because this season of The Bachelor is so good. Oh, my God, it's so good. 
Now that I started watching TV since the you know my new needlepoint career, what is that? My explore page. Oh, let yeah. me see this. The Bachelor, you guys. Also, I went to San Diego State with Daisy, and we've been like social media friends for a little. I'm not just saying that to like drop her name, but she is so precious, and I just love her. And it makes me so invested in the season, being like, oh, I know her, even though we're just like acquaintances. Like, I, would she know you if she sees this clip? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But, like, you should go on because I would love to have, like, a dear friend on the show. Like, it makes it so much more fun when you can kind of be like, oh. You need to go on The Bachelor. Yeah. Okay. That is, like, the last place you probably would ever find. I know. I just want me to go on. What reality show would you go on if you had to go? Um, I and Stars. Dancing and Stars. Yeah, sorry. That's not really reality. People are really invested in Love is Blind right now, so I could see myself. But I don't know. Who would you say that you look like, Megan Maroney? I go on Love is Blind, and I'm like, everyone thinks I'm Megan Maroney. Then he meets me, and he's like, I get Megan Maroney all the time. And he's like, this is Gypsy Rose. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Gypsy Rose is also a fine girl. No, she's baddie. She is a baddie. There's a rumor that her and her husband were divorced, but. There's also a rumor that they're having a baby. I don't know Pick which one. Yeah, I know. I guess also, guys, I keep itching my nose. Like, I promise I'm not picking it. I have, like, some insane itch going on right now, so. You know, I don't allergies. think anyone noticed that, but now that you pointed it out. Well, I'm. I'm the queen of pointing out my flaws so someone else doesn't have to. Totally, totally. Okay, so this isn't a big episode. Well, this is the first off. Really, this truly is a no list, just vibes episode. Yes. That's where we're at today. We have a lot to catch you up on. We haven't recorded. I haven't recorded like a normal episode. There has been so much that's changed. Well, okay. (laughs) Sorry. (laughs) Because in my life, there's been so much that's changed. Yep. We're not at the dark humor page point yet. <laughs> she wasn't really going there. Just like <laughs> I'm just saying, I can't remember the last time we recorded. Was it like November? Probably, but you're just in the vlogs a lot, guys. I mean, well, no, probably it was because Macy's. We're not even unfortunately gonna be able to get into. You know what? We should just get into the bit before we. Okay. Get yes. Into that. Um. So. You guys, this is a very a drum roll. This please. is a very exciting episode, and I don't even know. We're we're, we're gonna have teased it by now, but. Kenzie came to the meet with this idea. I don't even know when. It was months ago. And I It was probably like October. Yeah. I was so excited because I've just always wanted to work on a secret project and this is the <laughs> most on-brand perfect one ever. And it is the bit. And you might be like, what the heck is the bit if you're not watching? And it is a perfectly cute, curated, okay, curated just sounds like the right word to use. Card game. It is curated. Okay, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. That's just a word that all the influencers use. <laughs> um, it's a card game that could not be more me and Kenzie. Like, it's the perfectly curated, non-GMO, no. organic, <laughs> paleo, gluten-free. Free. Uh, if you guys have seen Kenzie's other friend of mine card games, they are all just like the cutest thing ever. And you have what? Nightcap? Um, what's the other one called? Dinner Dinner cards. cards. Okay. And those are all like questions, you know, getting to know people. But so you have the truth part of the card games. Those are the questions. Mm -hmm. Those are the truths. If you want to play truth or dare, those are the truths. But in the bit, we have the dares, but it's more than that. There's three sections. It's what are the odds? Would you rather? And superlatives are most likely to. It's just like the most chaotic, fun, random. Like if you've ever, ever wondered, like, what's it like when you guys hang out? Like this is it. Um, so yeah, if you guys have ever wanted to hang out with us, if you have ever been begging, like Macy and Kenzie, on your hands and knees, Macy and Kenzie, like, what can I do to hang out with you? I'm literally like foaming out the mouth. <laughs> this is it. And it's called the bit. And I've, even the box design is just so me. But, well, it was designed to be so Macy. I love this episode of QVC, by the way. This is actually great. Is you, it? You did forget the 75 cards. I don't, you remember just not getting there. I'm yet. just getting so excited. So there's 75 cards, three sections. So it's 75 cards. It's a little bit bigger than the typical dinner cards and nightcap cards. And let's just, like, read off some of them. But, like, they're just chaotic. For example, a lot of these, what are the odds? you do it, it's like a dare. It's all things that I've done. Like one of them is send a well thought out breakup text to a boy you've kissed once. Like I did that. If you guys remember the music festival weekend, <laughs> I kissed a boy and we obviously like didn't chat after. It was just a music festival kiss. Then about three weeks later, I was like, wait, he needs to know where I stand. And I sent him a well thought out find, breakup text. Find paragraph. the text. What, what, I can't remember his name. That's the issue. He's a baseball player. So it's like one of four names. Okay. You keep talking like about Austin, it. Austin, Ben. Yeah. You keep looking for it. And um, keep looking for the no, name. No, no, no. You just keep talking about the game. And you're going to do it. Yeah. Can you tell them about the design? Oh, okay. So, <laughs> yes. Thank you. My talent over here. Um, we worked with an illustrator, and the design is stunning. Um, this will be a normal episode, guys, by the way. Don't worry. But it's all, like, nods to Macy. Even, like, some of the card games, like, podca- oh, my God. What? Podcast listeners. 
um, you'll get the like the subtle nods. Like one of them's like, "Would you rather have the skinniest waist or the fattest ass?" Which is a nod to you know our J name episode. Exactly. Another one's like, "Would you rather publicly date a boy with a J name or have lice for a month?" Obviously, our J name episode. The design itself is stunning. We've got Aperol spritzes. We've got little clocks. We've got well, it, we sound so J name obsessed. But uh, like, we sound just, so J name obsessed, but it's just like I just want you guys to know that like what happened with Macy and Jay could not be further in the past. <laughs> that and it's also became so much bigger than it, we ever imagined, and we're yes. so grateful and love the support. And now it's just like our, it's just like a staple. You know what I mean? Um, we have little cowboy boots. There's a little purple frog. She went to TCU. Blue. Um, little pom poms, obviously because she is a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. Um, lots of stuff. I found the text. Oh, here we go. Okay. okay. So after I kissed the boy at the festival and I sent him a well thought out <laughs> breakup text two months later. Wait, also, <laughs> keep in mind, she didn't just send it. We had about 15 people at my house. She airplayed this to my TV and then sent it. Exactly. So it's, hey, can we talk? Space, space, space. <laughs> Okay, I've been thinking about it, and you're a really good dude, but I just don't think distance is going to work. I felt so bad going on without saying anything. It's not fair to you or to me. I just think moving on is the best for both of us. As much as I want to give someone myself to someone else right now, I need to focus on me. I'm sorry to spring this on you so out of the blue, but I'm letting you go. He never replied. Period. But, like, those, those are the <laughs> Wait, types of dares. Should we text him again? Mm, we'll leave him alone. Mm. But those are the types of dares that we just love to do. And would you rather is like whenever I'm in the car, I just break out into would you rather's. It's my favorite activity. For example, would you rather spend Thanksgiving with Ivy Lee, Lee Miller or have your entire family forget the rest of your birthdays? Like, you know, there's some like really good ones in there. Anyways, it's a really fun card deck. Perfect for girls night. Perfect for honestly, literally anything. Honestly, it was inspired by like a bunch of the card games, not having good dares for truth or dares. Yeah, and boring. like, we just got a little unhinged. It's so fun. I just picture like girls giggling and playing this or boys, whatever, but it's so cute. It's so fun. It's unhinged. It's chaotic. It's just everything that encapsulates me. Everything. And Kenzie, but you're not yeah. as chaotic. Yeah. Um, I know. You know what? I think like Maybe not right now in my life, but, like, people might be surprised to know, that like, there is a little bit more chaos to oh, me yes. than, you, than you might first expect. To the naked eye. That's my favorite thing to say. To the <laughs> naked eye, you might see me as just an 80-year-old grandmother. But you've got some chaos. No, I do have some chaos. Also, like, not to bring up age again, because Macy is ageist, which we will get into this on the podcast. Um, it's just our, you know, our age gap friendship that is really, yeah, does a number. Like, I, if you would have met me, I mean, first off, we probably wouldn't have been friends if you met me when I was 23, because... I was so, like, wild and went out all the time, and you just never That's liked That's an that. update. I'm not 23 anymore. No, and by the way, thank God. I'm 24 now. And you guys, I was watching one of Kenzie's TikToks about, um, like, your different ages, and you said at 24 you were just, like, going to the bars and everything, and I feel like that's kind of, like, the era that I'm... You've been going out a lot more recently. Well, I went out once. <laughs> that's more recently. No, I Also, know. like, I was Macy's really hungover. had to, like, make do without her private chef and social life coordinator yeah. and honestly beyond that yeah just normal coordinator so how have you been by the way guys like I've been hitting the town no I'm kidding what have I've been eating I don't even know what I've been eating if I like without <laughs> Kenzie cooking for me like guys I don't want to sound like an insensitive bitch like I've been taking care of her no she uh, really has <laughs> by the way we should preface with that just so everyone is very clear like, we're right. just this is just not a deep episode <laughs> um so we won't get into that but no I like don't even know really what I eat like I'll get a rotisserie chicken for the week and like get creative like tortillas and stuff Ooh. um really but on my egg grind like if I have my eggs and toast in the morning that holds me over for a little bit but a lot of takeout not even that much takeout like Chick-fil-a mm -hmm. yeah but no I have been um establishing I guess should we get into this right now like without you like I've been establishing my roster Sure. Do we want to dive into that? I, I would love nothing more than to dive into this. Yes. Well, I just think that as, like, the chronically single friend, I have to do my duties of, like, going on dates and, mm -hmm. you know, all of that. And I kind of took a break for a while. And if I you're the chronically single friend, then what am I? Well, <laughs> here's the thing. You're the, you're the chaotic chronically single. Yeah. I, I am the, like, I'm tired. I'm Yes. I'm just, like, the chronically dating friend. Like, I'm yes, always, yes. like, on my private story being, like, okay, so this guy, he has a job. No, but, um... <laughs> yeah, I've been establishing my roster, and I don't even know how to get into one of them. H like, how do we, like, kick off the roster? Do we even want to get One into of them is just so special. And, like, if you guys, we won't get it. She's not allowing me to get into this. But, I just like, don't know how we would get into it. We'd have to do a start to finish early. Yeah. Well, okay. Just, 
just to preface this, to let you guys know, this man makes Jay look like a fucking angel. Like this, there's nothing you can compare it to. There's nothing you can do start to finish. If we, we can't, we honestly don't even bother updating our friends on it because it's exhausting to even yeah. tell the whole story. Here's the thing about all the roster men is that each one makes the next guy look like a saint, an angel. So mm-hmm. we had Jay who just straight up told me that he was on his way from Houston and didn't show up for the date, which literally even forget about that. ETA 330. ETA 330. So you we might ha- forget I never will. Yeah. We have Jay, who didn't show up to the date, so I have the next one that's a pathological liar, but he showed up. So I'm like, wait, he's the one. He wait. showed up. No, but then she, like, will meet a guy who is, like, a normal, well, normal like, for a bit. Like, normal, normal compared to the rest. Yeah, a normal guy, and she's so bored. And to be so honest with you guys, I'm bored on behalf of Macy as yeah. well. Like, I want the crazy. Yeah. Like, we have an acronym. Yeah, it's BBB, bring B name back, because yes. this guy was just going in waves and would stop talking. Okay, let me just sum it up the best I can. We matched on Hinge back in November when I was at Kenzie's house, and it was, like, just a total joke, whatever. And turns out he completely, essentially lied about his entire identity. He was a real person. He was a great and, like, outgoing and looked like Glenn Powell. Yeah. So, which is why I, a lot of it got away with it. But, yeah, he but just... you always forget this part. What? This is what part you need to remember. He... Can you guys tell what we've told literally every single person that's ever walked this earth a story? But we haven't really. Y'all had... Well, people in my life, at least. Yeah. Y'all had the exact same sense of humor. And Macy, as you guys know, is the funniest person alive. Stop. So to find someone with not even a sense of humor, but that sense and of like, humor... And, like, he threw it back even yes. a little bit harder. Like, he was... Might I say, like, a little funnier, funnier. at times. No, I know. So we and had please this... don't take offense to that. No, I don't no, mean I it. I don't at all, and that's okay. why I'll defend him. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this man lied about his entire being, but yes. he was so funny. And I was like, he's the one. No, but we've gotten rid of him, and I've just been going on dates. And at the beginning of the year, I made a joke, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to have one boyfriend a month, no overlapping. And I've honestly, like, accidentally done that. No, I'm kidding. They've all been atrocious. So no, I'm kidding. Not all of them. Macy, after, guys, and listen. You know I'm thinking of you guys first. I'm an audience first yeah. sort of girl. Yeah. And I just feel like the audience is being deprived of the story. Okay? I know. And, but I understand, and it's your choice, whatever. But Macy did say that if we sell out the bit cars, by the way, there also are limited edition. We yeah. forgot to say that. Um, that she'll tell the story and come on and do start to finish. And, like, I'm telling you guys, this is our craziest story yet. And it's just so hard to, like, even allude to it without saying every detail. Yeah. Because every detail, like, people's jaws are dropped right open i want to say this at a live show Mm -hmm. but we don't know when that live show will be but also if we didn't explain the bit cards perfectly all the info is on the instagram with like the breakdown you did a great job did i yeah okay i just wanted people to know like how funny they are but i feel like it's a you don't know until you have them like when we were when we were doing the photo shoot and taking photos with them we were playing them and cackling yeah like they're so fun okay that's all i just had to say yeah totally just because sometimes i'm like no, you guys don't get it. <laughs> no, like, I promise you. They get it. They're like the Megan Maroney curls. Yeah. Like, no, to the naked the, eye. To the naked eye. Guys, the Megan Maroney curls. Oh, can we tell them about... I'm sorry. Oh, yes. We okay, can tell wait, them about... I'm sorry. Part, I love guys. you. So, as you guys know, this man lied about different parts... Of, a lot of different parts about his life. And sometimes I would, you know, question it, call him out on it. And the first time I ever called him out on his lies and was kind of trying to get to the bottom of it, basically, he lied about where he worked. And that's a very easy thing to find in today's day and age. And so I called him out. This is back in November. And I was like, hey, you don't work here. And I did it in a more creative way. Yes. Like, I I set it up. And I was, like, just trying to figure out where he worked. Because at the end of the day, I wanted this man to work out. Like, he was so funny. So I'm like, hey, like, where do you work? And that's the craziest part about this story. (laughs) Is that I wanted it to work out. Yes. Because Macy, like, at first when it happened and we're, like, finding out all this stuff that is so batshit, I'm like, all right, well, it's, it's a literally guy, a guy you match with on Hinge. We don't even know him. And then Macy's like, yeah, yeah, whatever. Then we're in the car at McDonald's, and she, like, gets defensive over it. And I'm like, okay, whatever. You do whatever you want. Even though, if you guys, again, knew the details, it's so batshit crazy. And throughout this, we only find out more and more and more about this man, who, by the way, I actually think is a person I would really like. Yeah. I just, would love him. <laughs> I would love him. Yeah, I, I, clearly. I would really love him. But it just gets crazier and crazier. And the fact that... At the time, Macy's lying to us, too, being like, no, it's a joke, blah, 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 whatever. Well, but, I didn't know for a while. Well, you were you were going in and out, so yeah. she wasn't fully lying. Um, then for her to be like, yeah, I said that because I really wanted it to work out. Like, 
That is so, I, oh my God. Like, seriously, we have to do start to finish. I just want to say, you guys probably might think I'm attracted to the most crazy people ever, but in reality, I know exactly what I want. I know exactly who that is, and I have not found them yet. So in the meantime, I'm going to be doing things for the plot. Macy, no one is judging you. This is our other thing. She's so concerned that people will think she's crazy because of this. Well, or they can think that. First off, <laughs> if people thought that, think about my dating history. No. Okay, <laughs> there's no one who has a worse dating history than me. Second... Who cares? Like, no, I don't actually worry about them thinking I'm crazy. I just think that a lot of these men are very questionable, and mm -hmm. that's not actually what I want. I'm just bored. Okay. Totally. Um, but, yeah, I called him out for where he worked, and he was like, I'm sorry. Like, are you trying to say I don't work at Kieran? Like, he was trying to gaslight me back. And I'm like, no, 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 no. Like, my friend – okay. I called him out for not working there. I don't hear from him for a few days, and I'm like, you know what? This guy's not real. Let's just have some fun with it. So a few days later, I just sent a quick little – I'm <laughs> – Well, Kenzie came, came up with it. We're at, yeah. We're sitting outside Starbucks in Highland Park and hadn't closed yet. We're really upset. And then we find out that Ralph's is actually opening there. So we don't care anymore and we're waving goodbye. And then I'm like, should we text so-and-so? And Mason's like, yeah, sure. So I was like, amazing. Yeah, let's text like, what should I text him? I said, say, I'm sorry, I love you. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I literally type out, I'm sorry, I love you. And I send it. Like, that's the thing. Like, <laughs> when you do things for the plot, nothing matters. Totally. And so that is just such a good text to use on any crazy man or any man, period. Like, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I love you. The craziest part is he came back. He came back? <laughs> like, that's what that's the craziest thing is that there's actually nothing too crazy <laughs> you <laughs> can ever do because men are crazier. He came back three weeks later on Christmas Eve, so there we go. You, uh, he Chris, I didn't even think about the fact yeah. that it was Christmas Eve. I know. I was just so lost it worked. in the lore of this man. We need to give him a different name. I know. Um... <sighs> I will say we're like really stepping into our B name era. Like, and guess what? I also went through it at your age. Yes. Well, it was here's dark. the thing. Every boy that I've gone on a date with in the past three months has been a B name. Should I say the age? Does that give away too much? Sure. <laughs> FBI watching. Like, B name, 27 years old in finance. Well, one of them lied about being in finance. I don't really know what he does, but B name, 27 finance bros. Like that's been my roster so far. So the next guy, I'm like, it cannot be a B name. Yeah. Speaking of B names, guys, I got this text last night. Let me see. Should we reply to him, actually? Yeah. Okay, so Macy was over you know, doing her, like, rent the runway out of my closet. And we're sitting in the living room, and I get this text. Hi, it's Ben. We matched on Bumble a while back. And for some reason, I meant to text you, and I never did. So sad. Sad face. Space. How are you? Like, I don't have Bumble. She's like, I don't have Bumble. I'm like, reply to him. She won't reply. No, but I don't have Bumble, and I wouldn't have, like, given... Just say, I'm sorry, I love you. Should I? Yeah. Wait, do it. No, because we don't know we who We don't know. Is. We don't have any oh. banter with him. It's not well, funny. But do you know what I can do is I can do a reverse number sh search on him. Could you pull up his number really quick? Wait, why can you do that, Macy? Oh, so, so glad you asked. Um, you guys, I did pay for a membership to truepeoplesearch.com. And my Rocket Money app that keeps me up to date with my subscriptions was kind of wondering, like, hey, are you meaning to pay ten ninety nine a month for this? And I was like, yeah, absolutely I am, because no. some of my men have required background checks. No, Macy was like, Netflix, canceled. Hulu, canceled. True people search. Keep. keep. So, like, <laughs> we need that. Like, we're going to do a reverse number search on him right now. It's crazy, too, because she already has a friend who can run Okay, check. don't reply. This is not a Ben. Oh, wait. You know sorry. what? Wait, 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 no, wait, no, the last number was wrong. Hold on. I, I did have the wrong. thought, like, what if this is, like, my sister and Wyatt, like, trying to mess with Okay, him? it's not Ben. His name is something Fitzpatrick, and he's 58 years old from Cleburne, Texas. Like, we're not replying, unless he has a son named Ben or something. Maybe. We can view a full background report wait, later, because I, I do have with it. his real name? Say hi, Harold. Sorry. No, like, what if it is his son, and it's just on his phone? phone That's true. And then but he's like, what the fuck? He texts weird. Let's not reply. No, like, I, the sad face did something to me. Yeah, and the space between the question okay, mark. Okay, like, what are your thoughts on, like, men who use emojis? Um, well, I don't like it. But it could be cute in a way that they're so innocent and, like, not online that they don't know that it's cringe. I agree. And, like, yeah. I am hoping it's sad. I'm hoping it's sad, but it could be, like, oh, my God. Like, one time, a guy, he was so cute, but he started using the laughing, crying, and the shrugging. He was like, and I was like, ah, we have to go. I'm so sorry. We can't go on like this. But... Ideally, it's just like plain Jane, no emojis ever. You know what? I've actually done a complete 180 in the past five seconds. I want my man so out of the internet world and just actually the world in general that he doesn't understand that using emojis is like odd. But then we had my man who completely lied about everything, had no internet search, so I had to pay mm. for a background check. Do you want that? Mm. Do you want that, Kenzie? I don't know. I mean, we have so many things. At 24, I would have. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, but now, at 26, yeah, our age gap friendship. I know, you guys. 
we might be 26 and 24, but our age gap is so much more than that. We're 16 no, years apart. It's actually much larger than it seems. If anyone ever, like, if you ever see a comment asking Kenzie how old she is, reply on her behalf and say, what age should we go with? 46? I was thinking 38. Okay, that's, wait, thir- 38 is kind of believable because people look really young nowadays. Yes. Like, and it's not like 38 is, like, super old. It's yes. just, like, And my dad that. owns a med spa. Yes. <laughs> so they're like, yes. Okay, okay. Wait, wait, that's the yes. rumor we start. Yes, we're really into starting rumors for ourselves yes. these days because no one else is going to advocate for you. Like, you have to start rumors about yourself. Like, for example, I started a full-fledged year-long rumor that I'm a Dallas Cowboys cheerleader because I advocated for myself. Yes. So your new rumor is that you're 38. Okay. Just keep that going. Like, okay. made my life as a 38-year-old in Dallas. Yeah, perfect. Why no, I, like, create a scandal. Yeah, perfect. Wait, I'm kind of obsessed. Yeah, me too. Okay, cool. And I'll be, like, how I became friends with a 38-year-old as a 24-year-old. Yes. Yeah. And, like, what do we talk about at the dinner table? Yes. Don't worry, she has dinner cards. It's kind of like Kourtney Kardashian and Ad- Addison Rae. Yes. Yeah. Wait, actually, you can tell them that I created the dinner card so that we would have things to talk yeah, about. because they're not even millennial if you're 38. Are you? I don't know. I don't know. I'm so far removed from being a millennial. The thing is, I am Gen Z. Yeah. No, I'm like, she's not. I mean, wait, actually, <laughs> no, I'm 38. Okay, I like that. Okay, perfect. Coming out wait, about my age. I just realized we have another story to tell them. This was not a B name. It was a D name, and we need your help. <gasps> Thank God. It was on my list, my No List, Just Vibes episode. Yeah. Danny we, from Georgetown. Danny from Georgetown, you guys. I'll set the scene. Guys, we had to fly, or no, we literally drove, and yeah. that's where this went wrong. So... Currently, right now, obviously, I'm going through it. There's this thing called, like, grief brain to where, like, you just don't. Like, my brain fog is so bad. I don't remember things. Whatever. You do things that you wouldn't normally do. Macy and I, well, I had to go to Austin to record a podcast episode I was contracted out for. So we drove in that night, and then Macy was just there for moral support. And also, like, she loved the girls. She wanted to come anyways. And, yeah, we just drove in for the night. We were, like, leaving the next day, whatever. And I was like, wow, I feel like I'm, like, I'm having a good night. Like, I'm doing a lot better. (laughs) You're able to drive. I'm able to drive. Like, oh, yeah, I drove the whole way. You're focusing on the little things here. Like, the the big things. Like, I'm driving to Austin. That's such a big step. And I am such a big picture girl. The details just are not for me. They don't matter. Details such as gas. (laughs) So (laughs) all of a sudden my sister's boyfriend called us and I was on the phone with him and then I'm like wait I gotta go because my car started feeling weird and I already have like car PTSD because one time I was driving Brooke and Danielle to LAX and my tire blew out on the freeway and I have those like alerts that tells you when your tires like are low but I like ran over something I guess it was like a nail and immediately whatever long story short I get like really freaked out with car stuff like I get like very stressed and I'm like oh whatever so I'm just thinking oh maybe something's off whatever then flash back to a couple hours before that when I remembered we were leaving and I told Macy like oh yeah we gotta stop for gas I don't think you ever even said that no I did I remember it so vividly okay but you probably just weren't listening to yeah. it which is actually a lot more likely yeah of the story okay um but I was or I was at least like maybe I was just saying it out loud I probably didn't think it was like so urgent yeah well because it wasn't at the time yeah. 200 we're, miles before. Yeah, yeah, we're two and a half hours into this into this drive, guys. And all of a sudden, my car is like stopping. I'm like, oh my god! I, to, I was like, oh my god, we're out of gas. I on down. 35 going like 70 miles per hour. Yeah, I look down, and it's the first time I've even looked. I normally check my gas thing just like I see it because the time, the temperature. I hadn't looked down once. I looked down, we're at zero, and I'm like, okay, like that's fine because normally, if you're on zero, that really means like you got like 10. You know, like you're okay. Yeah. But the problem is, I think that we were driving on zero for I'd say an hour yeah. at that point. So we get off the highway. Well, the car starts like, like it's like <laughs> it's like making sounds. And like, guys, I've never ran out of gas. Like, I'm kind of, I'm like trying to stay chill. I'm like, mm-hmm, yeah, yeah. Like, no, I'm like, we're so good, we're so good, girl. I'm like, huh. mm-hmm. yeah. So we get off. We're like on the shoulder, and then we're turning, and you can see a gas station. So yeah. I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna turn into it this gas so station. It was so far away. So it was so close. It was literally 0.2 miles. It was and like, see, wanted me to call yeah. fucking triple A guys. We're, we're I, in a stranded field, and we could no. barely see a light in the very back corner. Okay, like Macy, it was actually 0.1 miles away when I tracked you and by my friend. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna get out. I was like, I'll go get it. Whatever. Macy's like, no, 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 I'll go. She wanted me to stay in the car because I was kind of in the intersection. So I yeah. guess that was a little bit scarier. But I will say, <laughs> I'm like, you stay in the intersection. <laughs> yeah. I'm going. <laughs> okay, we weren't fully in the intersection. We were kind of like creeping in. We were creeping in, and I'd gotten off enough to where like there's these semi trucks behind me. It's pitch black. It's probably like 9:30. You know, very late for me as is, and I we're probably a like a foot away from like these semi trucks like not hitting us. Yeah. So I'm like, oh my god. So Macy goes. I just want to say. You guys, like, I'm weird about gas stations. I don't switch up what gas station I go to. When I first moved to Dallas, I decided which gas station was going to be mine. It's always populated. There's always a woman there. Like, I am 
a gas station scaredy cat as women probably are. So I'm like very scared of gas stations, but I'm like, you know what, Kenzie? Like, you stay in the car. I got this. Let me put on my superhero cape. Like, because she wants me to get hit by the semi trucks. No, no, no. I just was <laughs> like, you know what? I can do this. Like, yeah. it's good for me to conquer something that I'm afraid of. Like, do one thing a day that scares you. Yes. Yeah. So I'm like, also, there was no sidewalk. We're on the side of the highway. I'm like, I love the episode. Do one thing a day that scares you. Yes. Like, sorry, I love you. Yes. We'll decide which one. Mm-hmm. Um, so. I'm, like, literally running along the side of the highway because I'm, like, okay, let's just get there. I'm walking in. I'm on the phone with my guy friend. I'm, like, oh, my gosh, people are looking, but it's fine. Like, there was worker men there. It was kind of scary. And I don't even know how. I, I was, like, where do you even get the gas tank? I figured it out, obviously. I filled up the gas tank. Um, the guy at the front desk was, like, trying to explain how to work it. But anyways. Oh, my. Oh, he tried to tell you beforehand. Um, no, how to open it. Like, not yeah. how. No, no, like, oh, how to put the to, gas okay, in. Okay, okay. Yeah. So I go back out, I'm filling up the gas tank, like looking like just some little blonde, lost, tiny, tiny, itty bitty little girl out there in the wilderness. So small. So small and frail and scared. And there's some construction worker men that I was getting very bad vibes from that were just staring. I'm like, mind your own business. But anyways, that is when my savior, my lover, my long lost friend, Danny comes in and he's like, excuse me, are you the girl that just like ran over here? And I was like, yeah. I'm like, yes. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, and he goes, I'd feel a lot more comfortable if I could just drive you back. Like, I don't want you walking over. I can even just follow you along. And I was like, no, I'll go with you. And he had a really cute so truck. Crazy. He was so cute. He had like a flannel. This is the girl who's afraid of gas stations, but she then gets in the car with a random man. <laughs> he had a flannel and a sweater vest on. Like, tell me you don't trust those vibes. And he had a really cute truck. He had like Apple CarPlay I on. don't trust those vibes. I do. And that's the issue. <laughs> yeah. No, I get in the car. He had like Apple CarPlay. Like, I'm pretty sure something came up from like mom or someone. Like, I trusted him, okay? But we start talking and like, it was just the center of a rom-com I'm not even kidding like it was he was like so wh- wh- where are you from I'm like oh we're from Dallas I told him that my friend has a podcast he should have been able to find me from that but keep in mind guys this is a 0.1 mile drive back and I have so There's many like two billion podcasts in the world okay you should be able to find yours <laughs> I have so many regrets because he was gonna drive all the way up and then make the u-turn mm-hmm. and come around for you but I was like oh no I can get out here and cross the median so our two-minute car drive could have been like five and I, I just didn't want to ask for his number, and I know he didn't want to ask for mine because he was like, I don't want to be disrespectful. I'm giving this young, beautiful he's girl. Married. No, he's like, I'm giving this young, beautiful girl a ride. I don't want to ask for her number. Like, totally. that's creepy. So, yeah. Okay, that's so. That's Danny from Georgetown. I miss him so much. If any of you guys know Danny from Georgetown, please let me know. Unless he's married, then I will feel so awful. And he was just a nice man, and he did nothing disrespectful because he really didn't. I want to start this off by saying we are looking for Danny from Georgia. We really are. We really are looking for him. I also want to say um, that was so crazy of you to do. Really? But I was on the phone with my mom in the middle of it. And I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I called my mom, you know, whatever. I will say, like, we really handled it really well. Really, we were so calm. We were very calm in. the whole time, whatever. And it ended up being such a great – like, honestly, we got such a rush from him. We're like, wait, that was so much fun. That was so fun. Like, it was so fun. But I'm on the phone with my mom, and I'm like, Macy just texting me that some rant man is giving her a car no, a drive back. I didn't even say that. I just said, got a ride back. Oh, yeah. Like, imagine me and Kenzie in the intersection – in a random getting town, a getting a text saying, got to ride back. <laughs> Mind you, I can see the gas station. It's point one, and I cannot stress that enough, point one miles away. It was so far. So I'm like, no, I think she's, like, fucking with me. I think it's fine, whatever. And my mom's like, please tell me she's not in the car with some random person. And then I'm like, no, 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 no. In that moment, I look up, and I just see Macy coming <laughs> across the Out street. of a truck. <laughs> from a truck. And I go, nope, she was serious. All right, well, I got to go. She made it here alive. So we should do an episode of, like, this episode without context with... Gotta ride back. That, that, Gotta those ride back. Those messages. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Okay. So anyways, we are looking for Danny from Georgetown. We did do our due diligence in the Dear Media office. No luck there. I have an idea. Thank you for raising your hand. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> um, you know Two Step In in Georgetown, Texas? Mm-hmm. April 20th and 21st? I think that's... It's, is that one I'm in stage No, that's the weekend, weekend before. before. I don't know stage if I, can I don't. Before. That would be a lot. But I just had this like vision of me finding Danny from Georgetown at Two Step In. But realistically, I don't think I'm gonna be able to swing it. So if any of you guys go to Two Step In in Georgetown, please be on the lookout. No, like make a sign, Danny, Danny from, from Georgetown, Georgetown. We're looking for you with the cute, sexy truck. Please. The cute, sexy truck. I'm just telling you, like, if he, I asked, like, what age he thought, and she said 32, and I was like, I feel like Georgetown's, like, a small town, like, a man's gonna be married at 32. I know, that's what I'm worried, but usually, guys, we're at the age now, like, where I always am looking for wedding rings on people, because, like, a lot of people apparently have them these days, and I just was so in the moment that I didn't even think to look, not because Mm -hmm. I was trying to make a move, because that was not what I was thinking about, 
no, yeah, we really are at the age where everyone has rings. Your I'm brain just like works so fast too, because it's like in the midst of Gasgate, you're already like picking up, a, literally picking up a man from the gas station. Yes. Wait, we didn't even tell them about our wedding hashtag. <gasps> Oh. This is the best part of the story, yes. and everyone needs to know this. I did come up with a hashtag well, for... I need to tell it. I need to share yeah. how it was so much funnier, too, because you're going to leave that part out. Yeah. It's like 10 minutes later. We're driving. We're like on a different topic, whatever, and Macy goes, oh, my God, in our wedding hashtag, we were not even talking about this anymore, would be... All gas, no breaks. So you guys are all invited to me and Danny's wedding. All gas, no breaks. I'm so excited. Yes. Um, but it's not going to be for a while because I'm actually a professional bridesmaid right now. I'm literally leaving right after this for another bachelorette trip. So due to that, I can't get married this year because I'm like a bridesmaid in so many weddings. And that, year. by the way, is the only That is the, if I wasn't a bridesmaid in so many weddings this year, I would be getting married this year. Duh. But yeah, I might put like 2025 bride in my bio just to start a rumor about myself. Yes. Yeah. Wait, you should. Okay. Okay, all gas, no breaks, 2025 bride featuring Macy Thompson. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's the episode name. Well, I just think that, like, realistically, if you think about it, I could be a 2025 bride. Realistically, yes. Also, I've said this so many times, like, I will be dating engaged a year. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, when people are, like, dating for, like, three years, I'm like, no, I could not do that. I'm telling you, like... I'm a firm believer in when you know, you know, because I'm a firm believer in when you know, when you don't know, you know, <laughs> you know, what did that make? Okay. So like when you know, someone's like so brutally wrong, like I can look at someone and be like, no, he's not the one because of that. I believe in when you know, you know, okay. It just sounded like you were doing one of those like podcast gibberish clips. Mm, yeah. Like a lot of big bug words. Like, you know, <laughs> no, it kind of was a po podcast, but when word, you know, so. you know, when you don't know, you know, yeah. I agree. And so that's why, like, when people say, when you know, you know, I'm like, oh, bullshit. But I now believe in it because there's so many guys that, like, I know that I don't like. <laughs> what are other things that you've thought are, like, BS that you now believe in? Um, I don't know. When people tell me, like, oh, it's just different with him, like, you know. I'm like, no, you didn't. But now <laughs> I kind of believe in that. Um, what, uh, did, did your recent fling make you believe that? Wh when you know, you know? Mm -hmm. No, that was when you know, you don't know. <laughs> when you don't know, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so hard I miss him. BBB. I know. Well, it's, I got kind of confused because all three of them have been BBB, but there's only one that you cared about. Yeah. yeah. I don't even know the other guys' names. Don't, you don't need to. They don't matter. Um, <laughs> Take a guess and it's probably right. Um, wait, I had more to say. So sorry. What, what were we talking about? Well, it all comes back to me being a 2025 bride. Oh. Absolutely. Did you know, as an influencer, when you are a bride, you get wedding rates, so you make more money. So, like, for the business, I will be getting married. In that in case, next my next birthday party is going to be a surprise engagement, and every single photo is going to be. <laughs> and wait, it's, it's, like, brilliant earth. Yeah, and I don't know if this is offensive, but, like, I would do the engagement smile, like, every person that, <laughs> never mind. Wait, why would that be? Well, like, there's a lot of engaged people. I think it's kind of like the joke, like, the Disney adults that are engaged. It's like the. <laughs> yes, you know what photo that reminds me of? What, me? The, the bit of you. The, yeah. The, yes. Well, Macy, actually, something you might not know about her is that she actually is a um, model, a supermodel. Yes. It's another thing. But again, she is so humble. So you just like. I'm you so know humble. You would never know literally anything about me. Like well, to literally. the point where I literally just forget to tell people that I'm a supermodel. Like you could disappear into thin air. No, literally. Like it's insane. Yeah. But to be fair, I do want to be an engaged Disney adult. You've never expressed Disney interest. <laughs> Literally ever. I'm just saying they seem very blissful and happy. No, I agree. I was actually saying this to Dom on the phone last night, and she was just – we were talking about our, our college experience that, you know, traumatized us so bad. Yeah. And we were like – someone – actually, I, I, I'll talk about this when Dom. Like, these – you know when, like, someone – who has been so horrible to you, reaches out out of nowhere, but it's, like, clearly they just, like, need something. Yeah. So, anyways, we were just talking about it because it's, like, literally so crazy. When I went dinner? Nope. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, and we were talking about those days, and I was, like, I, I really do miss those because, like, life, like, felt simpler. And she's, like, yeah, because we were, like, you know, truly, like, I cannot stress this enough, like, ignorance is bliss. Yeah. And I'm at a point in life where I'm trying to become more ignorant by the day. Get like, a lobotomy. Because – because I, yes, <laughs> yeah. because I am looking for bliss. Yeah. So I think in order to find bliss, I need to be more ignorant. Yeah. So as time goes on and I know less and less and less, like look the other way. Yeah, I would do anything to be like a little 17 year old at Young Life Camp, not knowing anything about the world. People might think I'm really naive, but no, I'm not. 
I'm actually like, I, really smart. I'm actually, that's another thing. I'm so humble. You would never know how smart I am. <laughs> what are other things people like might not know about you? Well, they know about my skinniest waist, fattest ass, yeah, but like yeah. maybe not because I don't post as many thirst traps as I should. Yeah, um, Macy and I were talking about this yesterday. Like, I am just more of like a whore than Macy is. Yeah, like, like I got in the this. way that I dress. <laughs> like, Macy wears like more like more conservative clothing. Saggy. I wear like tight stuff. If my boobs are out, I don't care. But I view that as like, I'm sorry, it's not my fault this bathing suit doesn't fit me. Like, yeah. it's less of me making an effort and more of like it doesn't fit me and I don't care. Yeah, kind no, of like, I got a skims top and I got a large in the top and my boobs did not fit in it. And I was I'm like, sorry, uh, you just have massive, massive yonkers. <laughs> <laughs> and whose fault is that? Like, I can't help it. Like, yes. I even pay for them. Yes. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's natural, and they were given to me at birth. Like, I'm sorry. Like, again, everyone thinks I had plastic surgery and I paid for it. No, I didn't. No, yes. but me returning a Skims bathing suit at mm-hmm. USPS, like, you would never do that. You would, no, no you I, would, because out of principle, it's just not my problem that it doesn't fit. A, yeah, you would find a way. Like, I just, but here's the thing is, like, I've been wanting to splurge on a bathing suit for so long, and that wasn't, that wasn't the one for me. When you don't know, you know. That was not the swimsuit for me. When you don't know, When you I know. find the swimsuit that I'm going to splurge on, everyone's going to know, because I'll probably post a thirst trap in Cabo in June when I go to a wedding. When I'm trying to remember the name of the brand that I like that's good for large chest stuff. It's none of the ones that I wear. <laughs> no, I'm trying to think of the swimsuit brand that's really good for, like, huge, huge, huge boobs. Like, the t- like tiny waist and, like, yes. like, really curvy butt. Yes. Like, what's that brand? Like, tr- if that body type, like, like that's, the, wait, that's the only one that fits me. Hold on. What hold is on, hold it? On. <laughs> okay, but in all seriousness, I think it might be Somersault. Okay, well, I have a Monday swimwear one on the horizon. Oh, um, I like Monday, too. Okay, guys, M- Monday came out with this cobalt blue collection. It's cobalt blue ribbed. Molly. And, oh my gosh, it's so freaking cute, but I didn't get it because this bachelorette that I'm going to this weekend, I needed a pink or yellow swimsuit. Mm -hmm. And so I was like, they don't have that one. So I'm going to be splurging. So if you guys see my thirst trap in June in Cabo, please comment. Oh, that that also is going to be when I'm meeting my husband. I have a guy on my radar at that wedding. Okay. So maybe that will make me. Convenient that you just got a swimsuit for that. Yeah. Maybe that'll make me the 2025 bride. If I become a 2025 bride because of this Monday swimsuit that they need to sponsor the wedding. Okay, so realistically, if you want to be a 2025 bride, it's March 6th now, okay? Okay. So that would mean that you would be getting married next year, not even just engaged. Okay. So you would have to have, like, a really short engagement. And where are you going to elope? Like, McDonald's? <laughs> well, yes, but here's the thing. I can get engaged December 31st. Okay. And get married next December 31st of 2025. So I have time. You know what I'm going to do? What? I'm going to have a wedding date. Put that in my, in my bio. Bye. And then I'm going to postpone the wedding. Yes. So then I'm a 2025 and a 2026 bride. Five-year engagement. I'm going to be racking that up. I'm going to be on the knot. I'm going to have all the Evites. I'm going to have all the, you know, whatever. I want it to be like a tabloid. Like, woman thinks she's getting married and takes it a bit too far. Yes. Like, woman, like, suffers from thinking she's getting married. Suffers from thinking she's getting married. (laughs) But, like, there's no groom the entire time. No. Well, that's what I wanted to do next year for my birthday is because I'm going to be a bridesmaid in all these weddings. I wanted to end this crazy wedding bridal season with my own wedding but <laughs> send out invites like make it so obviously a bit but invest in a really good photographer and videographer so that when people see it on social media like there's comments like how is this a real wedding like is this real like have really questionable vows like have the guy be like oh, you're such a pain but I love like I just want it to be so obviously like painful so I do want to throw a completely fake wedding one day it's like how Trisha Paytas put some ton of money into these music video productions yes I want to do that into a fake wedding yeah, so if I'm not having a real wedding, I'm going to have a fake one in 2025. Speaking of weddings, should we talk about our wedding sin? Ah! Oh, Guys, my God. Every time I think about this, I literally want to crawl no. up in, this, in my bed and, like, never leave again. I have a hypothetical podcast episode in the future that's going to just be wedding etiquette 101 for brides, guests, bridesmaids, everything, because... I've and, learned a ton. And we're the number one don'ts. Yeah, and we're the number one don'ts because when I say I've learned a lot, it's from my mistakes. <laughs> and we've been... Say our, as I do. Wait, no. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, I think you're going to have to take this one away. Okay, ah! so we were at a wedding. First off, I get a plus one to a wedding. That's a plus one if you bring Macy. I get these a lot. We've talked about this. So I get that message. I'm like, hey, You're not you going to be getting those anymore. No, by the way, that was the last one I'll ever get yeah. after this. So I get this message, I'm like, hey, do you want to go to this wedding with me? And she's like, oh my god, I would love to, whatever. So we're like getting ready, we go, we have a great time, whatever. Can I just say, on the way to the wedding, I'm like, I think the biggest thing like with weddings is like just not leaving early. Like I think the the bride has done so much, like they put so much into this party. I think it's so disrespectful when people leave early. Yes. I'm 
aware of that fact. Yeah, and, but it didn't stop her. So this is a Sunday night wedding, by the way. Yeah. And we had stayed well into everything. Yeah. But we were so tired. tired. I don't know what else we, we had both had weekend. come from like out of town. Back yeah, I think we. Wedding. Oh yeah, we flew back in yes. for the wedding. That's what it was. Yeah. Okay. So we were both like so tired. It was a Sunday night wedding. I think it was like eleven, and we're like, all right, like I think it's definitely like nine thirty. Okay. We started at like three thirty. Okay, yeah. sure, whatever. You could have just stuck with 11. Okay. It would have made it oh, look better. It was almost midnight. And by the way, guys, it was literally 2.30 in the morning. Okay. I'm sorry, that was so toxic of me. Keep going. Okay, yeah, thank you. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, I think we're good. Like, let's just head out. We'll just dip out. Obviously, I'm not going to, like, take time from, like, the bride and the girl. You don't need to, like, tell them that you're leaving and, like, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I also heard that's, like, bad etiquette to do yes. anyways because it makes them think that, like, it's, like, dying down when it's not. Yes. It was literally just us going. So... She's like, okay, the bride's over there. We're good to go. Yeah. And we leave maybe 20 seconds later. I'm going to have you take this over because I don't You're know. You're going to have me take this over? Okay, I guess I can continue. Okay, no, no. I know this part better. So we're leaving. <laughs> <sighs> I just don't like to admit it that. It just, like, physically this, makes me cringe. This is one of those memories like, that I've blocked from my memory. So we're leaving, and we're going out the front door. Kenzie's in front of me. She's going. And there's a photo booth right next to the main door that's kind of tucked away to the side. And the bride is in there taking photos, looking straight at where we're leaving. Which, by the way, Speed Racer, Mrs. Speed Racer over there, she was literally on the dance floor two seconds before that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Kenzie leaves before me, and I hear the bride go, bye, like, looks straight at Kenzie. She sees her, and then, like, you picture me, like, walking past the door next. It's kind of like a cartoon. Like, you have Kenzie, the bride sees her, she goes, bye. Kenzie doesn't see that part. And then Kenzie just sees me going, like, like I com- I like completely own I, I'm just like waving goodbye. Kenzie's like, why are you saying bye? And I go, Kenzie, that was the bride right there. Like she was staring right at us. Like yeah. so horrific. So that's gonna be in the wedding. She was she like smiling and she wasn't she upset. Was so, or she was not upset at all. She was also so chill anyways. It was fine. It was just the fact that like we I had caught. that we were caught and I had made a point that we should not leave early. Mm-hmm. But everything else just like led us to that point. And oh my gosh, you guys, like I just felt so like then this part is even worse. We backtracked. We backtracked. We're like, we can't leave. And we're like, she saw us leaving. So then we go back into the bathroom and hide in there for like five minutes. Like, why did we do that? I was like, okay, now we leave. I'm like, what, like, what was that? It was just, again, caught up in pure adrenaline. It was like me not asking for Danny's number, you know? Like, totally. So that's, it all comes back to Danny. It all comes back to Danny. But All gas, no breaks. Oh, my gosh. But, you guys, that's just like one big wedding rule. If you're going to leave a wedding early – know exactly where the bride is in that second because brides are mobile they're moving around like yeah, you gotta walk they can they can walk we didn't know that like yeah. we didn't know she had legs we literally had no clue no. how are we <laughs> supposed to know like it's her wedding day she should be sitting like yes. so know where she is in that moment because again you can leave early it's just like out of respect make sure she's busy dancing on the floor with her friends because she's not going to remember in the grand scheme of things but like it was just a respect thing yeah, and, like, I still feel so bad about that I can still day. see her eyes. And, by the way, she's, see, like – I can see it right now. No, and she's, like, such a nice person. Yeah, she's, like, like, the best she's person. She's also been such a great friend to me forever. Yeah. Like, she was, like, the first one to, like, drop things off for me, like, when everything happened. Like, literally – yeah, no, I'm going She to could have cared less that we did this. It was just, like, a moral compass thing. We felt so awful. Yes. And she's amazing, and the wedding was beautiful. <sighs> and we're, like, really sorry yeah. about that, and we hope you never know. Yeah. I feel like we should end it here because – we obviously have so many other things that we could say, but... Oh, this is, like, one of those days where my mind's going way faster than my mouth, and, like, I'm still wanting to circle back to, like, having a Disney 2025 wedding, but, like, mm-hmm. again, these could all be separate episodes. Like, I'm still yes. wanting to circle back and, like, explain the B name that lied about himself. Cir- like, yes, yeah, circling back to BBB, circling, circling back, back to Danny from Georgetown, circling, circling back, back to Ben from Bumble. Yes, exactly. Well... It's not actually been from Bumble because of my true people search that I have a membership to. Can you do it on the guy? Okay, wait. A guy just DM me asking you on a date. Should you do a, a background check on him just to make sure? Yeah. Okay, here's his name. If anyone ever needs a background check, please send it to me. I also have a friend that, like, works for the government. Wait, like, okay, he... <gasps> wait! He's cute. Yeah, he actually is really cute. Wait, you guys. I already Kenzie. showed you him. I know. Oh. Kenzie. I know. No, I know. That's, that's my okay. red flag. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait, I love him. Okay, well, can you do a background check on him? Yes. Thank you. While Macy's doing a background check, I will say um, we're going to do a little giveaway for the bit. So anyone who we posts. We are? Well, I just decided just now. Oh. So anyone who posts this podcast story or this podcast episode to their story, um, 
I'm gonna pick someone to send the bit cards to. So be sure. And then also, like, I'm telling you guys, like, I'm doing everything in my power to get her to do a BBB episode because it is the best story I've ever heard. Oh, adds up. Wait, age. Yeah. I know. Wait, like, that's not what it said on the app. Is he from? But interesting. Okay. So I'm getting catfish too. Well, th- there might be multiple. Mm, I don't think so. If Kenzie dated a guy my age. I would no, like, literally I literally never hear the end couldn't. of it. I literally couldn't. I like sometimes think oh, about the fact. It could be this one. Oh. Is he from? I don't want to explain. I don't know. I don't know much about okay. him, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, wait, what was I going to say? I was going to say something. Mm. 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 Start harmonizing. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm not really quite sure. Honestly, like, I don't need to know that much about oh, him. the giveaway. Should I reply? Wait, what were you saying? The giveaway? Yeah, reply. Always reply. Okay, um, well, fuck, I just opened it. Oh, oh my god, I forgot to give you your gift. Oh! <gasps> okay, so we're gonna end the episode on me giving Macy a gift. I did get her an incredible gift that I think she's really gonna love, um, and she's gonna be opening it live on camera. This is why y'all need to be watching the podcast. And it's Ken- on YouTube. Yeah, I just wanna say, like, Kenzie's not letting her good deeds go unnoticed, but mm-hmm. I did give her a gift yesterday, and it was the Touch Land hand sanitizer, because when Brooke, Danielle, TK, Molly, everyone was in town last week, everyone had the Touch Land hand sanitizer, except for Kenzie, and I'm like, Kenzie, like, you're not rich, you need it. So I was at Target yesterday, and I got her one. Yes. Because Macy is rich, and so she made me rich with this yeah. actually really rich hand sanitizer. And I'm really grateful for it. I brought it. It's in my purse. Yeah, I got her the blue sandalwood scent. It's really amazing. Okay, now it's going to, like, not actually bug me, but, like, what thought did you start? It was something about the giveaway, but... No, the giveaway for the bit is you just post a story I know, but you, were, you had something else funny that you were going on in. I did, and, like, I have... Honestly, these days I have so many funny things to say. Actually, that's not really true. No, but Kenzie's, I do have funny Kenzie's been say. so much more unhinged lately. It's so funny. Yeah, I will say, like, I have, like... She, I don't care. She doesn't hold back. Like, yeah. I used to be the one that would be like, Kenzie, like, can I say something mean real quick? And she's like, well, we don't know their backstory, Macy. And I was that like... That is so mean. Like, I need to stop. Even when someone's doing something that is so obviously... You know what we need to talk about? What? Thank you for bringing this up. There is another epidemic going around. What is it? And it's girls on TikTok who are typically like 22 and blonde who are making TikToks nonstop about how everyone else is like an energy sucker and a vampire and taking from them. And this is why you should cut this person out of your life. And this is why I have literally never in my life seen a people group have so or seen a person have so many issues. Like, I'm sorry, maybe if you need to cut everyone out of your life, maybe you're You're the the issue. I know. And it's like, you should, why are you even thinking that deeply about, like, it's just not that deep. It'll be like TikToks, it's like, why I cut off my entire family? I'm like, (laughs) well, okay. Okay, so I'm not, okay, sorry, that was a bad example. Okay, that was a bad example, but, like, that's just an example of, like, the, no, yeah, no, there's. It's like Grandma Susie or whatever. No, like, people who are, like, like, it's like they're friends from college, and it's like, you love college, and you have no, like, I don't know, it's something about it. It's out to get them. Yeah, like, the world is not out to get you. And, like, I, I don't know. Something about it. Yeah. They've really got to stop, and it does make me worry. If you want Kenzie's thoughts on anything, let her know because she'll give them to you. Like, yeah. she's, she's not holding back these days. I called Macy at, like, 8 a.m. today on the way to yeah. the workout that she bailed on me for. Well, I had a call. Sure. And I was really going off. Yeah, and I was like, yeah. Yes, queen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Period. Yes. Because it used to be me. Okay. Yeah, so are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Again, guys, watch on YouTube. Thumbnail. Oh, thumbnail. <laughs> I bought her a car. <laughs> Best yeah. friend surprised me. Yeah, okay. literally. Is this from like an antique shop? No, actually, it's not. For once. It looked like the one that you got yesterday. It does, but just wait for it. <gasps> Look at how cute. Oh, my gosh. The Isn't greatest it? friend there ever. You guys. Isn't it so cute? Wait. <gasps> Oh, wait, you guys, I'm going to tear up because this has been my wallpaper for the last, literally, like, since we came up with the print, since Kenzie found the watercolor artist that beautifully made this. And again, every single, oh my God, this matches, like, every part of this just matches our vibe, everything so well. Like, this is going to go in my room. Well, she loved the design, and I was, I did text Leslie, I felt like that was just, like, probably the best frame. No, it is. And I am so lacking wall art in my room. Oh my God, it's so perfect. You guys. Yeah, I didn't want to say. If you guys want to, like, buy the print, let us know, and maybe I can, like, sell it behind Kenzie's back. Yes. She can take all the profits. Yes. 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 You guys, like, me and Kenzie as business partners, I'm like, No, I? like, I'm literally, I'm like, I, oh, I still like, need to, s- I'm going to sign the contract. She hasn't even right? signed a contract, but I was like, like, it just is, like, crazy. Like, we don't need a contract, but, no, like, but, like we, we just did it. I know. Like, what if I sued you? You <laughs> might. 
<laughs> you guys look how cute. Look how cute. See, I really... Wait, okay, I know we've gone through everything, but, like, I'm just going to go through it one more time. Like, we have the phone call for prank calling. Mm. We have the horse on a surfboard for California and Texas. We have the J name cards just because that was an iconic episode of ours. ETA 330, an analog clock with 330. <laughs> a, a jet because I only fly private, a.k.a. boarding a group on Southwest Airlines, which okay. I'm boarding group B today. We have some blue bonnets for Texas. We have some blue pom-poms for my Dallas Cowboys cheerleader career. We have a U up because <laughs> that's a dare, dare in here. And, like, why not send a U up text? She gets those. Yeah, not because I get them. She sends those. No. Yeah, sometimes I do. Macy, well, you actually do, but the craziest thing about you is that, like, I, I just can't, like, a guy sending you a you up to, that's so not your vibe. I know. But it just, like, it physically makes me, like. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all get them. Then we have a spritz, but, oh, and we also have a Diet Coke, but it says pop because I didn't really want to deal with Diet Coke's lawyers. Then we have really? a spritz because spritz girl. Spritz girl. Okay, we really do need to end the episode because it's been going on for a long time. 54 minutes. That's pretty good. Yeah, that is long because I still have ads to record. But um, oh. I hope you guys enjoyed. Macy is willing to come back start to finish for a BBB episode, hopefully next month. And just know that I'm going to have to do planning because every time I tell the story, I forget details and we cannot. We did forget. start a note at one point. Yeah. This is how crazy the story was. We started a note so we wouldn't forget the minor details. It's insane. But it is nice because like when one of us is telling the story, the other one butts in and like gives the details that are missing. Totally. Because it's really important context. Totally. We'll come in with like briefcases. Yeah, B B B in B -B -B. on duct tape. I think he should be here for the episode. Should we call him in? How could we get like him on a friend level? Because I want to be his friend at the end of the day. Do you think that he would be our friend after? I mean, we're not like here's the thing: like we don't dislike him. No, we love him. We, the story is just like too good. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. If y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe to the podcast. Um, and follow where, Macy. And I was gonna say, and where can they find you, Macy? <laughs> and where can they find you, Macy? At Macy Thompson. Wait, at underscore. Ma fuck. Wait. Mm. At Macy <laughs> underscore Thompson, and then at Macy underscore Thompson with two N's on TikTok. There you go. But I don't need followers. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, I'm fine. It's whatever. I'm fine. Like, I'm actually it's, so this low is, key. It's Kenzie's show. It's fine. I'm so low key. Yeah, whatever. Okay. Fi find Danny. <gasps> Danny from. Okay, we gotta go. Okay, bye, Danny. Okay, this will fade out. Yeah. <laughs> okay, oh, wait. Let's, so let's pose really quick okay. for a. I didn't oh, know it was good. Okay, I couldn't find it. Oh, I couldn't find mine either. I have three. I was thinking maybe you had one of mine. I was hoping. I don't. Here, let's do a... Uh... Wait, let me... Should I show you something? Oh, I need to record a little should something I, about... Should I, like... Oh, wait, let me hold the bit. We need to, you need to be a little bit closer, like, leaning into me, I think. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, perfect. And then really quickly, I do need to make a little nod to the fact that Truly is sitting here. So oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know how you did this. I'm gonna do this all on one file just so.